this bill protects students because uh, students uh, who are in the middle of their education are dependent upon federal and state financial aid, and they're also dependent on the fact that they will be eligible at the conclusion of their education to receive uh, accreditation or, or rather um, a professional licensure for the, the course of study that they've, that they've gone through. So what this bill does is this makes sure that any student that is in the process of their education is able to continue through, able to pursue their career, and doesn't have their life interrupted simply because of a, a bureaucratic hiccup in Washington. Unfortunately, no state-level legislation could have helped the situation at Du Bois Business College or at Cambria Rao School. Uh, and the reason for that is, is that the, the, the issues there uh, went beyond simply the, uh, the federal accreditation or the federal recognition of their accrediting agency. So uh, unfortunately, I, I wish there was more we could do to actually be able to, to save those schools. Uh, but what is important is that this legislation is important to save several dozen school locations across the state that are very similar and in very similar situations as to what DBC and Cambria Rao found themselves in. I'm just very glad that the, the House moved this bill as quickly as it did. We found out about this problem in early September. I got the bill introduced and it's already out of the House. Uh, in fact, the Senate Education Committee is meeting today to move this bill out of committee and the plan is to get this bill to the governor's desk by the end of the session. And that's absolutely important because uh, if this bill for some reason does not find its way into law, we actually could find the rug pulled out from underneath students uh, between now and the beginning of next session. And the earliest that, that we could restart and pass a bill next session would be into February and that would be simply too late. So I'm very glad we're moving this as quickly as possible, and I'm very confident it's going to make it to the governor's desk, signed into law to protect students.